Uh, okay, let's get into it. Let's get into it. What happens when we forget why we distanced ourselves from someone? Now, before we actually answer that question, we have to go over a couple pre-points. It's important for you to know yourself and learn yourself as much as you can. Because the more you learn yourself and know yourself, the more clear it is to know what kind of people you want to connect to and what kind of people you want to disconnect from or stay away from, right? So the more you know yourself, the better you can relate with the rest of the world. The more you relate with yourself, the better you can relate with the rest of the world. You feel me? So keep that in mind. Because here's what happens if you really focused on your own growth from a spiritual perspective. You feel me? Um, I'm not talking about like no GMO man-made perspective. Because when people hear the word growth, they think, oh, I'm going to grow myself. I'm going to outgrow these people. But they think that them getting more money or some shit or them getting more material is them outgrowing others. When no, that's just... That's, that's like backwards, that's like living backwards. True growth is internal, it's spiritual growth. It's because none of these things in the external or the physical, you shouldn't be giving your power away to these things and letting these things dictate your internal state of being. That's not growth. Sorry to burst your bubble if you're a very materialistic person, but that's just not growth. So when I, when I use the word growth, I'm talking about how you grow your spirit, how you grow your awareness, how you grow your frequency and vibrational energy, AKA how you grow your mental state and how you grow your emotional state. So you may outgrow others the more you grow yourself. And here's the thing about that. People gotta respect it. If they don't, they expose that they ain't growing themselves. Now let me tell y'all, as a real man, as a real spirit, I have no problems with people who distance themselves from me. And, you know, for me personally, it usually never happens because usually I'm the one doing the outgrowing. I'm usually the one distancing myself from other spirits I've outgrown. And if it does happen, they usually hit me up again eventually for different reasons, both good and bad. Maybe they trying to get something out of me or maybe they did grow themselves and they, and they come back and they say, damn, you was right, man. I didn't, I didn't fully realize and blah, blah, blah. Or sometimes it could be, you know, a, a, a mutual thing, a little bit of both, um, depending on, you know, the situation and who you are as a spirit and the other person. Sometimes y'all reconnect. Sometimes we reconnect with other spirits after we both grown, you feel me? And both realize where we both fucked up because sometimes, you know, relating can be a two-way street. That's why it's important to do as much self-reflection as you can to really see um, what, 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 made, what gave you the reasons, what made your reasons legit for you to choose to disconnect from somebody, you feel me? Um, we have to take all things into consideration, even where we may have done wrong in the relationship or the connection, you feel me? Um, and everybody is different with this shit. You know, it, it really do depend. It varies because it's not just you. It's also the other person as well. You got to take into consideration too. Did they grow themselves just as much as you grown yourself? If y'all was to reconnect and the first time y'all disconnected was based upon both of y'all wasn't in a grown enough mentality or a state of being to actually, you know, keep the bond close. You know, sometimes we got to go hermit mode and go monk mode to find ourselves this is how loneliness or not loneliness but this is how being alone can really help you find yourself because you don't have no distractions from other people you feel me and then once you really find yourself you can come out of that loneliness to start relating with others in a much better way because you know yourself more like i said so with all that being said this is why it's important to connect with others who care about their spiritual growth and 
And the reason for that is because y'all won't outgrow each other and the bond will only continue to get stronger. So when y'all find when y'all find people, when y'all find people who, who care about their spiritual growth, man, cherish that person because that that's what this world need. This world is so lost in the sauce that the, one of the best fixes that, that this world can have is for people to just self-reflect and grow themselves and not and not let their ego make them afraid to do so. Not not let, um you know, not not be mentally or spiritually lazy. You feel me? Actually put in effort to admit when you don't know something and then you go out to learn something. You feel me? Like it is OK being wrong, you know, um ignorance ain't entirely bad or anything like that um it's only bad when you repetitively go against your own growth you know it's only bad when um the universe is trying to teach you shit but you constantly just ignore it like la, 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 i'm in la la land i don't want i don't want to learn shit i don't want to grow that's when you become stupid that's when you become like pretty much holding yourself back and all that all that shit you know that that's when ignorance becomes bad you feel me that's when ignorance becomes impure instead of ignorance being pure and you just innocently not knowing you feel me but then once the information comes to you is your job as a spirit to be accountable and actually learn shit you feel me and you can't blame nobody but yourself so this is why it's important to connect with with spirits that care about their growth because they're spiritually accountable enough to do so you feel me now, as for the spirits that you did outgrow, though, this is what you want to do. You do not want to give your power away to these people you distance from just because you felt bad about disconnecting from them when you know y'all ain't meant to be close like that. So sometimes sometimes we might feel bad about disconnecting from someone. Sometimes we might want to give them the benefit of the doubt and see the best in them. You feel me? We want to see the best in people, but you can't. If they don't even see that for themselves, then you're pretty much giving giving away your power, and you're 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 helping a, you're trying to help a lost cause, you know. So, you you shouldn't feel too entirely bad about who you distance yourself from. You feel me? Um, because a lot of humans will disappoint you, and this is part of why we can't place too much expectation energy on others. You feel me? So don't take anything too personal don't take anyone too personal just know what you personally want to connect to when it comes to any kind of relationship that may be for you and this could be subjective there ain't really no right or wrong to it um for example i'm more into close relationships rather than acquaintances you feel me i'm open to both i don't mind having acquaintances but I'm going to keep an acquaintance an acquaintance. I'm going to keep them distant if I don't see the things that I value to f in them to form a tight bond. You feel me? If I don't see the things that I value when it comes to forming tight bonds and shit and a tight bond is what I'm subjectively into, you know, then then I I, I don't really take shit too personal. Or I don't really go too deep with anyone. You feel me? Um, and we all have different shit that we value. This is why Taurus is the yin of, of Venus. We all have different shit we value that we want to connect with and intake into our lives. You feel me? So, um, and some, and one of the things I value that I just told y'all is, is a spirit that is accountable for their own growth and to continue growing forever as spirits. You feel me? Because that's what life is. Infinite growth, all possibilities, which y'all humans call God. The overall expanding and contracting space of existence. Everything and nothing at the same time. You feel me? So, um, I, I value that shit. You feel me? I, I value that shit. And when I see another spirit that has that quality or trait, I cherish it. So, and then me subjectively these are the type of relationships that i me personally i want to get close with it's either going to be something like that or a common goal or interest like if we both make fire ass music and the spirit is cool enough you know to connect with then okay that could be another thing i value to de to develop a, a tight bond with that person you feel me but at the end of the day you don't want to take anything or anyone too personal 
just know what is personally meant for you when it comes to any kind of relationship whether it's a friendship romantic family um and it's just based upon what you subjectively value you feel me what a other group of individuals value i may not value you feel me that might not be my crowd you feel me um and the reason why I'm more into close relationships rather than acquaintances is really a lot of it has to do with my natal chart. Um, I have a lot of cancer in my chart and shit, so I could care less about loose connections. But like I said, I'm not closed off to acquaintances or loose connections. I just don't value them as much. You feel me? It might be opposite or different for someone else. Someone else might have a lot of Aquarius in their chart and they might value loose distant connections more than close ones you feel me it's really different for everybody um, and I'll give you all a little personal example for me um, uh, I have uh, I have old friends that I'm no longer that close to but I'm not gonna completely close myself off from them they just downgraded from friends to acquaintances and that's you know that naturally happens with a lot of us over life the more we find ourselves the more we realize the people that we're close to we, sh we don't really want to be close to them anymore because we're growing up we're literally growing apart you feel me as we find more of ourselves so um i've had friends close musician friends where we did a lot of things together but over time i just out i just you know distance myself from them because they were more inconsistent than me when it comes to actually being about that music dream right or actually being connected with each other on some collaborative effort type shit you know i had to distance myself from certain people who i was starting to realize man they don't really care about you know collabing and shit like that they just care about knowing a lot of people and and, ha and having a lot of acquaintances because they're trying to use people for clout or some weird shit like that you feel me um, I also had very close childhood friends at one point, but I outgrew or grew apart from them because I started to realize as I got older that there was a lack of relatability amongst them and there was a lack of support. You know, friends who they just showed me over time, they didn't really give a fuck about the shit I was into. So, of course, naturally over time, I just outgrew that shit. And this could happen. Now, take that and apply that to whatever relationships y'all have in y'all lives it's the same shit so don't feel bad about this just accept it and realize that's just part of life you feel me the more you grow yourself the more you're gonna realize what is meant for you and what is not meant for you and when we grow up as kids man we don't know especially when with childhood friends and shit we don't know much about ourselves or life like that yet we're just willing to connect with whoever the fuck is there at the moment that it whoever's there you feel me and a lot of times this is why nine times out of a, nine times out of ten it's very rare for you to still be friends with someone that you knew in, in middle school or high school and shit you feel me now but one th now another thing you do want to take into consideration though and i think i already brought this up but um what you do want to take into consideration when deciding to dis to distance yourself from other people you want to make sure that your reasons is legit according to who you are. Self-reflect on the situation and how much you've grown to see all possible angles of the situation. And really, and really ponder to yourself, is this a relationship that I want to keep close? Like I said, you don't have to completely ghost anybody. But you can distance and limit your energy from others and the other people got to accept that if they don't accept that they just expose their their dem lower animalistic demonic na demonic natures and they expose that they ain't spiritually growing themselves because any real spirit. But what's that quote called? Um, if you truly so love somebody, you will let them go. Some shit like that. That's a real thing. If you over attach to someone and, and they can't and they can't stand the fact that that you're letting go of them, then that's someone you shouldn't be too close with because um they haven't self-reflected enough on themselves to, to grow themselves to realize that that's not a good energy you should put yourself in you feel me that's dumb placing too much expectation energy on others and not accepting letting go of people you feel me 
you got to let people have their free will. You can't be a controlling dictator spirit like, no, you have to be my friend. No, you have to be my, you have to be this close. Like, nah, you don't want to be like that. You don't want to be like that. That's part, that's why letting go and spirituality is so important. But anyway, so let's actually answer the question now. What actually happens when we forget why we distanced ourselves from someone? You feel me? What happens? Let me tell y'all. This is what happens when we forget why we distanced ourselves from someone. If you accidentally get reconnected with someone, this is what happens. If they didn't change and stood the same or they didn't grow themselves at all, you will be reminded why you distanced yourself in the first place on some like in and out type energy. You feel me? Like it won't last. Like matter of fact, this time around when you come back around to reconnect with someone, the duration of that relationship is gonna be a lot shorter than the previous one before you actually disconnected. You feel me? It's kind of like a, a toxic relationship of two humans that don't know themselves that way that well and they just using each other for like you know gmo shadow government type shit or lower animalistic shit like like the the shadow government shit being like sex i mean not sex uh material and 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 what the person got the lower animalistic shit would be like shit like sex or like you know lust and shit like that so when you reconnect with someone based upon you not having enough self-respect for yourself and your own growth, you will be reminded why you distance yourself from the person in the first place. This is why in toxic relationships, motherfuckers be in and out. And the more that relationship continues, the more that same shit is going to happen. You know, like y'all be together for like two years, then, then separate, come back together the next time. And this time it will only be for like six months disconnect again then come back together again for a third time but then this time it will only last like a month because you're slowly realizing your spirit is trying to tell you motherfucker why you keep connecting with this person that you know ain't good for you or you outgrown you feel me now depending on the person you can always depending on the person in the situation you can always be open to a certain degree some sometimes we got to completely ghost a motherfucker and not give them any energy depending on how bad the situation is or what they did to you you feel me especially if uh some if you got out of like an abusive relationship you feel me then you sh you don't want you don't want to give them any of your energy but check it out now, if it's not something that serious, you can always be open to a certain degree, but keep your distance and never forget. It's like that quote, uh, uh, you could forgive, but don't forget some shit like that. You got to remember to not give out too much energy to the person or to not get too close again, unless they deserve it and show you that they changed. You feel me? They and not, and I'm not saying that they just tell you that they change. They gotta show you, like you, you gotta actually see the change in them. If if and they gotta put in the effort to do that. They gotta. You, you're not obligated to monitor motherfuckers. Like, oh, did you change that? Did you change that? No. They gotta make the effort to show your ass and prove to you that they changed. If they really wanna make the reconnection like that. You feel me? It's like um. In relationships when someone's had enough of the other person then the other person realizes that um they don't know what they had till it till it's gone and then they realize like damn i really fucked up with this person i let go of a real good person they gave me so many chances let me actually change myself for the better and show them okay now keep in mind though even if you do change yourself for the for the better you still got to accept and respect the other person's free will to not fuck with you or not even if you did change you feel me so and you know if you did change yourself for the better the universe or spirit will always you know give you what you deserve you feel me you will always attract externally what your internal state of being is so even if it's not that same person you fucked up with you will always be able to attract someone else in a similar energy you feel me except this time you will not fuck up you feel me? This is why I said in previous videos, relationships are meant to help us grow and learn from each other so we could get into an even better one. You feel me? Um, I have a video called Testing the Waters in Relationships. Um, I think I talked about it in that one. If, if it wasn't that video, it was another one. But yeah, 
so that's pretty much what happens with that you feel me now some some people might guilt trip you over the distancing that you do you feel me now depending on you the person in the situation um that shit could play out in many different ways when they guilt trip you um a lack of communication might play out you feel me sometimes it's a two-way street like i said earlier or like 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 sometimes it could be a little bit of both of y'all faults and then they might have a little bit of justification in their guilt trip towards you but then sometimes other times it's one-sided you feel me and if it's entirely that person's fault and they're still guilt tripping you then that's when you don't even need to give an explanation you feel me um it's only if you know consciously that you could have probably went about the disconnection better you feel me that's when you might give out an explanation especially if they're confused and they're asking you you know why did you um you know distance distance yourself from them it just depends on the person sometimes the explanation can be given sometimes the uh, expl explanations ain't deserved to the other person you feel me so it really do depend it, it's not black and white you know every situation is different but yeah so that that's what happens when when you forget why you distance yourself from somebody you you will ultimately eventually be reminded of why you did it in the first place and that's all i gotta say y'all peace